Hey, just coming at you here with another little homeowner's tip, I guess. Um, <clears throat> maybe save you some money in the plumbing department. Um, in this particular case, we have buzzing pipe when we flush one of our toilets. So I'm going to show you what I think it is to fix it. And I'll give you a couple other ideas of what it could be that uh, I've already thought about. But um, this is what's going on. I'll show you here. Flush the toilet. And it buzzes like crazy, as you can hear. So what I'm going to do is replace this guy here to see if that's the problem. <clears throat> I did already drain all the water out of the house because I heard that uh, it could be an air bubble trapped up in the plumbing that's buzzing. Um, and I've also heard that it could be the water shut off valve, which I'm actually gonna shut off now anyways, because I need to drain the water out of the toilet tank uh, in order to replace it. So now the water's turned off to the toilet. Um, that would be your first step. I'm gonna put a little bucket underneath. When I disconnect it as well, just to make sure that any of the residual stuff is left after I fl flush it that last time is out of there. I'm going to replace it with this universal guy here. And uh, hopefully that's the fix. If it's not, then I guess I will have to replace that water shutoff valve and see if that's it. But we'll go through this first and hopefully it's uh, if you're having this problem, it'll fix you up too. And if this helped you out, Subscribe, like this video, it'll help me out. I'll try to post uh, more around the home tips. Thanks very much. Okay, down on the floor here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect this here, which just twists off. If I do it the right way, it would be helpful. That just twists off. And I have a towel and a bucket here to catch any of the residual water that comes out of it. Because there's going to be some for sure. Here it comes. And I'll just try to let it drip into that as much as I can. And then there's going to be another little nut there that you have to take off. So I'm going to grab something to do that with. And then I'll show you how to pop the rest out. So with this wrench, I will just loosen that up a little bit and then the rest you can just pop off with your hand. And then that'll release the fill valve, which we have here. Which just connect that little hose. And that circuit pops right out of there. Let any water drain out. Set that aside. Then we're going to get into this guy and put in our new fill valve here, which is pretty straightforward as well. I'm going to make sure that it's going to fit right in there like that. We'll connect it with these guys. I will open up this bag and put it together and show you how that goes in. Okay, so I've placed the flow valve in and actually set it to the right height because uh, every instruction will have the way to set it the right height with the water fill uh, levels, etc. And then I'm just going to put this on the bottom here where it says to hand tight only, which is awkward right now holding the camera. Now as I, as I tighten that up, it will actually stand the, that's finger tightened, hand tightened. So it stood it up, it's pretty sturdy. Um, 
And then I've got the fill tube here that um, I actually cut to length. As you can see, it was a bit long, but you yeah, add this little metal clip in this particular case onto it here, sorry. Clips on there. And then we insert it on here, which I also can't do with one hand very easily. So I just had to stop the camera so I could use two ends to connect it here on this end. It's in the uh, fill zone um, for the flush, actually, the flush overflow. And uh, I'm going to connect this back up. The incoming water line just connects back on. Should click when it's done like that, so you know it's not going to get over tightened. I'm going to move my towel out of the way here, get the water going back on it, make sure that there's no leaks there. There's no leaks here right now, water's not coming out of there. Fill it up and we will give it a shot and see what happens here. Okay, so there it's been replaced. The fill valve fully replaced, non leaking, filled up, and we're going to give it a flush. And see if we get any vibrating in the plumbing. So far, so good. Sometimes it did kick on if we turn on a faucet. So let me turn on a faucet. Nothing so far. So that's what it looks like it was. No more buzzing. And again, there can be other causes to that, but in this case, that's what it was. So hopefully it helps you out if you get the same problem and you can easily fix a uh, water fill valve. Replace it anyways. Okay, catch you next time.